everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you who follow me on social media, you'll um, have known or noticed that I got the, a real track class 156, but that video has been put on hold briefly just because I had the pleasant surprise of receiving this in the mail. So without any further ado, I'll get the light box out and we'll have a closer look at it. So just a quick point to make, um, just for those who are interested before we get onto the engine, I thought I'd quickly show you, um, if I turn around this way, the box that it comes in um, because it's quite a, a special looking box it's this mallard theme which i've seen before in um, some of the stuff that the national railway museum have on sale and just the mallard related sort of memorabilia and stuff you can buy from the shop there so this is quite a nice little addition to be honest um, and on the back here you've got a lot of information which i'll briefly run through in a bit in a bit but um, but yeah first of all let's have a look at the engine itself so I've just set up the box quickly in here just to well show you how nice it is and how much um, information you get on the back of it I think most people will sort of know the history behind the Mallard but this goes into a lot of the stuff about why Nigel Gresley developed it and all the different sort of comp competitions between the US and some German engines and US engines and stuff along those lines and why he ended up essentially streamlining the A3 locomotive and eventually I guess beating that speed record and setting it and well it still stands to this day at 126 mile an hour so a lot of nice information on the back there and yeah I just thought I'd give you a little quick glimpse of that um, but yeah, feel free to pause the video and, and read it all if you wish. So this model, of course, is Hornby's new A4 engine, 462 locomotive, um, and it's the Mallard engine, which I surprisingly haven't purchased so far, but there's been quite a few railroad versions out, but I've been after a super detailed version. So this obviously fits the bill, and it's one of two Mallards that Hornby are bringing out this year. This is the normal sort of version and there's going to be a special one with gold fitted um, parts and a plaque and certificates and all to do with Hornby, uh, no sorry, the Mallard's 70th anniversary of breaking the steam speed record. So a lot of hype around the Mallard this year. Um, this is product code R3676. So this is the standard super detailed version. I will be getting the gold plated version as well later on in the year so be sure to stay tuned for that and we can have a little comparison between the two but yeah I'm I'm loving this this engine I've got quite a few A4s already but I've always wanted this Mallard here and it certainly doesn't disappoint so if we have a look at the engine here starting from the front and working our way back towards the rear we've obviously got the streamlined front here with the uh, smoke box um, we've got up at the top there we've got the whistle in front of double chimney working our way down to the buffer area we've got the number 4468 we've got some buffer detailing there with the pipes and vacuum well vacuum pipes and the coupling and then we've got two sprung buffers as you would expect moving along we've got this black section here obviously for the front We've got the nameplate Mallard, which is a separately fitted piece. It's an etched nameplate, which is a nice touch, especially as you don't have to add it on yourself. You've got the handrail going all the way along the top there. These have got the, the sort of guards on the side here. Um, I can't remember the exact word for them off the top of my head, but they've got the, the covers over the wheels. Um, some do, some don't, but in this LNER stage most of them seem to and yeah we've got the red red wheels underneath there it's obviously a 462 locomotive so we've got a double bogey at the front we've got the main six driving wheels and a bogey under the cab there so I think the only other major bit of detail which um, I hope you can sort of see there is the little plaque there which is on the real loco and the detail you can it's pretty amazing you can actually read all the words on there if you get up really close so I'll get my macro lens fitted and you'll hopefully 
see an image up on the screen now of what you can read on there. Moving back to the cab area, we've got 4468 on the side there. We've got the front and the side glass, um, the little plastic glass fitted there with the rear window left open. We've got the, another sort of plaque on the side there. We've got the two um, whistle things up there. Oh, there we go. With the, the ventilation hatches that you can open and close as you wish. There is a lot of cab detailing in here. I don't know how well you can sort of see it from this angle, but you can potentially see some of the gold painted um, levers. And I think those are for the tender, for the tender brakes and uh, the water drop um, for the tender. Um, but I'll try and get you a cab interior shot as well because the detailing is really good. Moving on to the tender itself then, it's obviously in the same garter blue livery as the engine. LNER on the sides. We've got the fake coal up in the tender there. And then we've got the water um, area there where you fill it up. Same deal with the wheels, they are red. I don't know how well you can see them down there. And then on the back, um, we've got sprung buffers as well with some more vacuum pipe detailing. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, like I said, I've got one or two A4s already, but Mallard has always been up there. It's obviously a very special loco, and I've always wanted a, a super detailed one. So it's gonna add nicely to the collection. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the other one later in the year, and also getting the Rails of Sheffield Dynamometer car to have the sort of 70th anniversary set all together. And I think that is due pretty shortly so hopefully we'll have a, a running session or some nice photos and stuff with the combination of those engines and that dynamometer car so yeah without any further ado I'll get it on the layout and let's see it having a nice run around there with some teak coaches so we've now got the engine out on the layout and like I said before I'm gonna put some of the teak coaches on and yeah just have a little running session with it I think there are some of these new teak. I've got the railroad versions, um, but I'm hoping I can get some of the the sort of super detailed ones of the new LNER teak coaches that are also coming out later this year, so I can have a, a really nice set of LNER, well, stuff with the, the dynamometer car, this new engine, those coaches. So should be a good collection, but nonetheless, let's see this running with some of the railroad coaches. Mm -hmm. 